Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and this is part of my series of studies of accents and voices. We're going to go into part two of Zimbabwe, as I'm hearing from Elizabeth Nyamayaro, um, whose beautiful voice I heard on her memoir, I Am a Girl from Africa. And it just inspired me to, to do a study of this. Um, we're going to do some more work on the vowel changes from General American to Zimbabwe, as uh, I hear Elizabeth speaking it. So uh, the A ah sound becomes an E, eh, mat, met, except when preceding, this is what I'm hearing, an S, an N, an F, a T, a TH, or an M. So uh, than, than, and the other um, I have is um, the, uh, what I, uh, I'll abbreviate to uh, fat moths. That's how to memorize F-T-M-O-T-H-S, or M-T-H-S, we, we add the vowels, but um, that's how we, that's how we do it. So after, after, bat, bat, yam, yam, rather, rather, Wrath, wrath, glass, gloss. I'm also hearing that um, a n sometimes becomes an ain, so transport becomes transport and ain. So uh, when does it become an and? When does it become an ain? Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, so yeah, get back to me on that. Give me your feedback. Um, I'm also uh, seeing that the a sound becomes an e made med. Um, the uh, S sound becomes an S sound, stays an S sound. So there's not a reversal of A and S. So said, which is the sound, eh, would simply be said. So made, med, but said, said. Um, o, I, as in toilet, becomes an A. Ah, toilet, toilet. O, R becomes a nice, uh, satisfying or, or. So transport, transport, A-R becomes an A, so farm, fam. All right, that's what I have for this week. Next week, we are going to go into, or the next time we do this, we're going to go into the vowel changes. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Matt Haynes. I hope that uh, as your narrator and your teacher of narration, that my voice and your ears meet again real soon.